The Torah Texting Tuesday Challenge that we asked was the following. Um, you go and you purchase a car from your friend. You purchase a car from your friend. And you say, okay, nice car. It's $10,000. And you're very upset when the car is delivered to you. And the GPS system that you saw affixed to the guy's windshield is not there when you pick up the car. Are you allowed to, from a Jewish law perspective, go to your friend and say, listen, I saw your car two weeks ago. It had that GPS module thing suctioned on your windshield, white, under, under your windshield. I, that should be part of the car. That's what I was purchasing as part of the car. Um, by the way, as an aside, when you buy a house, you buy a house, you can't just buy a house and like remove the dishwasher. Or remove the lights. You don't do that. It's a fridge. It's yeah. whatever's connected to the house you need to purchase. However, if it's connected though, not if it's permanent. Okay. Not if it's a GPS system. If on. it's m- built in like the newer cars, that's See, like that's take, whipping thought. out your radio. That's different. That you're not allowed to do. But if it's just an, an add-on that's like suctioned onto oh. the uh, windshield of your car, that per- and by the way, your car functions perfectly without it. It's not a right. Visa. Right. So it, it, it could, if it was necessary to to have your car like a cup, like a, a, a hub, a hub for your wheels. So that's considered part of the car. Every car needs it to protect the wheels or whatever it may be, right? So those things you need to leave. But I don't believe something like a GPS, which sucks under your windshield, you would actually be obligated to sell to your friend, even though he saw it like that. Unless he obviously spelled it on detail that he wanted to include it, he'd have to be included. Otherwise, I do not believe you'd have to include that suction on GPS system when you purchase that used car from your friend. Have a wonderful day.